What's happening, everybody? Street Riders here playing War Z today. For time reasons, I had to cut off a few portions of this video, so I'm doing a quick voiceover for you. Enjoy. So there's the helicopter crash site. There's a bunch of buildings. There are zombies everywhere in here, too. Now, where was the... Uh, there's one spot that's easy to slide down. Okay, it's over here. Now, you got to watch this tree over here because there's bandits over in that tree a lot as well. Let's go check it out real quick. Not that I have a weapon and can do anything, but we'll check it out anyway. Because why not? God, I wish I I am. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an episode one of these days when I find a weapon, and I'm gonna keep my character over here somewhere, and we're gonna make a whole episode of running the perimeter looking for freaking bandits, and just killing any single one of them that I can find. <laughs> Alright, see if we can slide down right here. God, I'm hoping there's not a bandit in here watching me. Last time I tried to come in here, there's a bandit that snuck up into that. He was actually laying in there, I think, because I checked that tower right there and I didn't see anyone. And then by the time I made it in, he jumped or he he stood up and he freaking shot the shit out of me with an M16. I was pissed. I was like, man, I actually got in. I checked the helicopter crash site. I went into that first building over there, and then uh, it was all over. Yeah, look at all the look at all the zombies. There's like 30 zombies over here. Okay, so this is the best way I found in right here. You need to slide right down this rock. You can get in. And there's generally uh, a zombie over here sleeping or like well, not sleeping but laying down. So I try to run the perimeter fence here and just kind of stay away from the the middle for the moment. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to get up into that helicopter crash site. There's probably going to be some zombies up there. And without a melee weapon, it's going to be a little tough. But let's poke our head over and see what we see. Normally, I would have been shot at already if there's a bandit in here. So I'm hoping good things right now. I'm hoping that uh, nobody's over here at the moment. Okay, now those aren't zombies there, which is good. Those are just victims of the crash and they don't look too good that's for sure <laughs> all right we're getting into dangerous territory now because we're in the open all right i will take some binoculars i really wish you could use binoculars as melee weapons too like god it'd be great if you could actually use those and fucking whip some zombies in the face with them like you can your flashlight you got to be very, very quiet in here, too. There's so many zombies. Once one zombie sees you and you don't have a melee weapon, it is all over. Okay, there's a hammer. That's a hammer, right? Yeah, all right. At least I'll have a weapon now. Because, yeah, once you, once you come across one zombie and they see you, if if you run, I mean, it's all over. So you got to have that weapon to be able to uh, attack the one back so you don't have to run and then hope that you don't cause a big scene. Alright, well the helicopter crash site wasn't awesome, but we did get a hammer and some antibiotics and some bandages over here, and we found a binocular over at the other side, so I'll take it. <laughs> Starting off decent. What happened there? Bounced off of that thing? We're going to continue to creep along here. Watch that damn freaking tower. All these towers, man. I'm so I get so nervous being in this place. I'd like to go and see what's in that tunnel, but <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be going over there anytime soon as there's literally like 30 zombies sitting over there. God, I hope we can get in and out of this place this time, man. I'm, s I'm so sketch about walking around in here. Every time I think I'm going to be good, dude, a bandit comes and freaking kills me. This is about, I don't know, there's another time I came in from over that direction. There's a hole in the fence. And uh, I made it, I crawled through on my stomach and got, you know, within inches of a couple of zombies. You got to watch buildings now, too. They always spawn inside buildings. Um, and I made it in and then I, I tripped one zombie. He got aggro and I had to run and I ran 
and got on top of a, a building and they all just sat there at my feet waiting for me to freaking come down and uh, I ended up laying down on the ground and just waiting for a little bit and a bandit freaking up in the mountain sniped me I was pissed I was like man I made it in I made it out like I could honestly I could just probably disconnect right now you know and just come back and the zombies wouldn't be on me but yeah, there's a zombie next to me he's over there on the other side of the building all right, well, I got some food and water. He's probably right over there. I don't think there's anything over here, but let's check. See if we can see anything right off the bat. There might be something in the back of that Hummer. No, nah, probably not. I'd like to try to get up in those towers, too, but... I don't know what the hell I'm going to find over there. Okay, now is this zombie on my side of the fence? No, he's just over there. As long as we cr kind of crawl here. Or walk slowly, crouch down. They generally don't mess with you. Unless you're super close to them. Alright, now we're getting risky. But we're going for it. I have to check out this tower. I've seen a lot of bandits up in here. So I'm just wondering if maybe there's a rifle that spawns up here or something. So I have to try. If I get snipped, I get snipped. Oh, there's some oatmeal. Well, we'll just grab the oatmeal and get the hell out of here. Gotta keep watching. You come down these stairs a little too hard sometimes and uh, you'll aggro some zombies. Not the best place to aggro zombies, that's for sure. I mean, look at them. There's one there on the other side of that bush there's one there there's one on the other side of the other bush there's 30 on the other side and i guarantee there are freaking tons of them over there on the other side of those hangars with the uavs in them there's more than likely zombies everywhere over there i don't see any over here i'm gonna start walking over to this first hangar this is the farthest I've ever gotten in the military base, so I'm excited. <laughs> okay, there's stuff over here. Let's see what's over here. Hope I'm not missing, like, good spawn points. Because I'm not sure where I'm going or what uh, what's in here, because I haven't been able to explore it freely. <laughs> I'm a little nervous being behind the fence, though, so I think I want to get inside this hangar. See what's up up in this amofo rachia. Right, yeah. All right. I made a comment one day about uh, those origin boxes. Okay, there's a zombie lane right there, so I don't really want any of that. And uh, big sinful duck, big boss on uh, YouTube told me that those that was the uh like the logo for orion gaming pcs i didn't realize war z um or they they uh what do you call it they sponsor or something if you will um war z that's totally false statement that uh, origin pcs it, it plays best on origin pcs because <laughs> it plays best on streets pc yeah yeah Straight up. <laughs> Here's a zombie moving kind of fast over there. We need to just drop down to eat some dog shit. So I think we're good. Thought maybe there's a uh, survivor or something coming. Alright, now I don't like all this high grass, man. Because they can like be laying down like that one was inside there. And you won't even see him. God, last time I was over here, there's zombies everywhere back here, so makes me nervous. But a lot of the zombies look clustered up over in that one tunnel, which was abnormal that there's so many of them over in that one spot. So I, I'm almost starting to think as I'm sitting here playing that there might have been a survivor in here, and he ran and took off that way, and he lured all the zombies over there. And more than likely died because I'm pretty sure that's a dead end over there, but I could be wrong. But that's kind of what I'm thinking now is that... Oh, we got some food over here. That he uh, probably ran and lured a bunch of zombies over there. 
can of soup. I will happily take some food. Hoping to find a large backpack while I'm in here. That'd be great. This small backpack, man, just kill a hoe. You <laughs> can't do shit with that thing. Alright, I'm gonna walk at least a little bit here. Although I feel like I'm running. I wanna check this container right here. And as bad as I want to check that tower, I don't know if I'm going to. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking, fuck that tower. Here's a zombie right there on the other side of the fence. Fortunately, he's on the other side of the fence. What is that? Anaconda clip? Like some ammo. For an anaconda. I don't know what that is other than a big freaking huge uh, big huge snake must be a uh, assault rifle or something maybe okay there are zombies freaking everywhere over there Jesus that's where I want to go too. I have a feeling there's good shit over in that building man but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get over there we'll try it though we're going to loot this. We're going to at least loot what we can. I don't know if I'm going to get in that tower, but we're going to try to do what we can here. This is definitely the longest I've ever survived inside NORAD military base, so that's at least good. <laughs> Fuck, here comes a zombie. Okay, well, this guy's getting fucking crazy with me. It's going to be on here. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, come here, bitch. <laughs> I was gonna say this guy's coming in and he's not backing off, so <laughs> say we're gonna have a little fight ski. Alright, let's go grab this water. Not finding anything interesting yet. I think uh, street may continue the uh, the not being able to find shit. What do I need? I don't really need anything, but I kinda want that water. Fuck it. I was thinking, you know, I should just switch it because I can stack those. I find a lot more of the 375 milliliter bottles than anything else, but screw it. Wonder if you can even get in that building. Like it's it's you can see you can get in there, but I wonder where. Like there's so many zombies over there. I'm like, dude, do I even try to get over there? Like it's my luck, you wouldn't even be able to get in the building, but Generally, the buildings you can't get into are like fogged glass and stuff, so you can't can't even like see in. You know, like the inside isn't even rendered type of thing. Is that soup? I um, don't know if I even care to go over there for soup. Damn, if I trip this guy, it's going to trip that guy. Dude, there isn't shit in here either. Like, what the hell? Really? Like, because this is pretty much where I've been. I've been over there at a different occasion when I came in and got sniped. But now I'm like, okay. Like, where do I go now? There's nothing else to even really check. Now I'm wondering if I can get in this thing. How many zombies are over here? There's three, four over there. Or is that the third one? I thought the third one was walking over here. Maybe not. One there. Yeah, if I get over and if I jump this fence and try to go over there, dude, I'm going to get killed by a shitload of zombies, I think. Well, should we look up in the tower? I guess we should look ta hit towers up or something maybe here. What are you doing, bro? Oh, he sees me too. He's all pissed. Stay there. Shut your mouth. Don't come in here tripping people out, dude. Nothing in here. Not a damn thing.
can't believe I haven't been killed yet, dude. That's awesome. Fuck you. Hey, zombie. Hey, fuck you. Yeah. Give a fuck about you or your zombie family, bud. That's real talk right there. There's got to be a way to get into that big hangar over there. Just have to figure out how. Might have to get, jump out. Like, get out of the military. Because obviously I have to get around this fence. And there there must be an opening on the other side of the building maybe or something. Because pretty sure both of those doors were closed. Like the big rolling doors. Or sliding doors, I should say. Rolling doors generally go vertical. Sliding go horizontal. <laughs> Alright, there's going to be a bunch of zombies. This was the opening in the fence that I, I crawled through. It took me like 15 minutes to stealthily crawl through without somebody seeing... Or without a zombie seeing me. But there was way more zombies freaking accumulated over here. Now there's like two. There was like 12 or something before right at the opening. Let's try getting in this tower, see what's up. Otherwise, we uh, kind of got ganked, man. There ain't shit. This is just like, is this a uh, an area they put in the map to just lure you in and kill you with all the zombies and bandits thinking, hey, a military base, dude. There's got to be some good gear in here. I just don't understand how I've never come across anything good. Seriously. Like, uh, people in the Alpha, right in the beginning of the Alpha, were rocking AK-47s. Um, there, I met, I ran into a couple of people with suppressed assault rifles, like probably M4s and shit. And I've ran into people with, um, um, fuck, like, you know, just, I don't know, I guess. I guess I don't really know. I, I run into a lot of people with, with sniper rifles and type of shit. I've never seen anything like that. I've seen a Jericho. I've seen a Mossberg. I've seen an AA-12. Fuck, there's hella zombies over there. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing that I could even really fool with. Okay, I haven't been up there. I guess that would be the next spot to try to get is up in that freaking tower. Which I've seen zombies spawn up there before, which is... Uh, I'm going to crawl, dude, because I really don't want to get... Oh my god, dude, there's so many of them over here, though. And if one of them starts walking while I'm crawling over, dude, I'm like a fuck chicken. All right, you know what? We're going. Yeah, this guy walked away. I'm going around this one laying on the ground. See if I can get over on the side a little bit more so I'm not so close to these fuckers. Well, I'm sure you guys are as well as myself. I'm a little disappointed with the military base right now. It's like every other freaking location on this, this map, dude. There's just... I don't know what I'm missing. Why am I why am I not able to gather any equipment? I mean, I ran into somebody the other day that had a uh um he had like a flak jacket on, a camo flak jacket because I know you can get like types of armor and shit in this game too. And I'm like, dude, I have never ever ever found anything like that. No, I never find no shit like that, dude. I never even find anything more than the three guns that I found. Mossberg A12 and a Jericho. Oh, and I think I, I think I found a SIG once, too. But that's freaking it, so. I'm just starting to wonder what the hell. Okay, I can climb up on that building and get up there by those, uh... By those um, solar panels so maybe I should try up there too I at least want to make this thorough you know but running out of time that's for sure this uh, episode I think is already about a half hour so you know what I'm gonna make this a two-part series fuck we got a survivor over there shit survivor a key all right I'm gonna go ahead and end this now and we'll just make a part two of this uh, this loot session because this is already a half hour I can't have it go longer than that so thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in part two of this uh, looting of the NORAD military base. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe. See you next time.